Well, if you're like many Americans, there's a good chance you've spent more time planning this summer's getaway than you have planning your ultimate vacation retirement. Elijah Kovar joins us with a three-point checklist to help create a financial plan that will lead you through retirement. Elijah, planning your summer vacation is way more fun than yeah. planning retirement. Come on. <laughs> way more fun. I you can do <laughs> both. You can plan for both, right? Well, I think people know exactly where they're going on their summer on their vacation because of that. Um, it's amazing. We were just talking about this, but we have people come in and say, I'm retiring in January. Can I? You know, wow. It's 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 a little late to ask yeah, that question. Maybe yeah. you should have thought about that earlier. Spent all of our time planning our investments. Mm -hmm haven't spent enough time planning our income throughout retirement. Okay, so one of the things you recommend is to diversify your investments. Diversify, yes. we hear that all the time. Yes, and that does not mean have a thousand different investments. It means have a strategy for how you're diversified amongst asset classes. So people will have all kinds of investments, but they're all in large cap stocks, you know, or they have a lot of investments, but they're heavily in the, sec uh, the tech sector. So if we have a tech bubble burst like we had in the year 2000, well, it doesn't matter how many tech stocks you own, you're going to lose. Sure. We want to be spread That's out. That's not diverse, yeah. But yeah, we want international, domestic, bonds, so on and so forth. Your next tip involves risk assessment, and the thinking on this has somewhat changed over the years when it comes to how much risk you should assume as you get close to retirement. It has. I work with people specifically who are in retirement who, or who are nearing retirement, and the most common thing I hear every single week, I have people tell me, as if it's news to me, they say, Elijah, I can't take the same amount of risk I used to take because I'm running out of time. But the opposite is true, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it, here's the thing. It depends. Mm -hmm. It depends on their situation. And I'm typically a proponent of saying if you're closer to retirement, you need to protect more because mm -hmm. if the market's down and you're drawing from it, you're going to sell low. However, some people, if all their fixed expenses are taken care of through retirement, you know, pensions and Social Security, they need they, to be a little bit more they risky. They can take more risk. No yeah. one can tell you you have to pull back, but know what your specific scenario is. Okay, and lastly, you say develop a distribution plan. What do yes. you mean by that? Well, to my point earlier, people, they have no idea where they're going to pull from. When should I turn on Social Security? What's the most tax-advantaged order of withdrawal? Meaning, what account mm -hmm. should I pull from first? My Roth, mm -hmm. my IRA, my non-IRA? Uh, it, and it depends on your personal tax situation, your personal cash flow situation. We need to have a plan throughout retirement so that we know I can retire, and if the market falls, here's where I'm going to draw from. If the market's good, here's where I'm going to draw from. We need a specific plan for income in retirement. All right. Plan your summer vacation, but plan your retirement too, right? Absolutely. Very good. Elijah, thank you.